Здесь канал он Yeah, that's uh, Mr. Oh, Jesus Christ, thank you very much. So, sorry if you're a Christian, but um, two years it took me to get that. I mean, it's plain as daylight. The number is on their letterhead. And I don't know how in the past they managed to uh, tell you people that, and you managed to accept it, that they're not in the jurisdiction. So after two years, I'm, I'm really, um, I'll give you the credit, Carlo. I'll give you the credit for achieving it, whether it's you or your boss or, uh, or harassment from myself. Thank, thanks for that. That's okay, no. Mr. Bad News, here comes the bad news. Oh, Jesus Christ, more bad news. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Although we do think the sale is within jurisdiction because it was conducted in the UK on, right. a, on a property that has a charge against it in the UK. And, and, and don't forget, they have a F, F, FCA number saying yes. authorised by the... FCA and regulated, yeah? Yeah. Uh-huh. We are still going to reject your complaint. On what grounds, Mr. Rinaldi? On the grounds that they did everything in accordance with the rules? On the grounds that they, we have no evidence that they have broken any rules. But what, what evidence do you... On the grounds yeah. that you yourself are a financial advisor. Right. And because you have signed yourself right. as an Right. You therefore cannot validity the complaint that they gave you advice. You have taken your own advice, Mr. Badaloo. Yeah, but unfortunately... Um, and therefore you're responsible for selecting whether the product was suitable. You are responsible for selecting whether the product was the right risk. Right. You are responsible for, for choosing the mortgage. And because of that, we have to reject the complaint. Right, now, um, I'm, Mr. Reynolds, I'm going to maintain that, that this is back, way back in 2005. Mm -hmm. Yeah? I wasn't wise to these uh, um, uh, problems. And I believe they made me do that, um, what, what do you call it? Um, as a means of um, bypassing the regulations, because I tell you why, sir. But you signed that. But if you if you remember, Mr. Rinaldi, when they asked me to sign a further document, mm -hmm. I ticked the box where it says they have given me advice, and I countersigned it. Mm -hmm. Um. I mean, you're you're. But yeah, yeah, fair, fair enough, sir. Fair, financial advisors are not, um, we're not immune from being a human being. And even though I'm a financial advisor, I have never in my life encountered or advised anyone on this type of pro uh, product. I have no experience whatsoever or knowledge. Yeah, but the only people who I had advice from, sir, was the Kleinberg Benson people. I had no other source of information or knowledge on this product. Yeah, certainly, we agree that they have provided you with. I, I can give you. I can give you. I can give you, Mr. Rinaldo. Mr. Rinaldo, I can give you a copy of the document where I signed it, and I tick the box. I tick. Sorry. I tick the box where it says they gave me advice because they are the only people I spoke to. I had no other source of information on this product. Yes, unfortunately you've done yourself a disservice. Well, how can I do myself a disservice by, by ticking the box to say I've, I've received advice from the bank? I don't believe that's a disservice. I, I, try, to, I try to protect myself when I be, you know, uh, um, as, as best as I could. Now, you, you ticked the box that you have will take your own advice. That's, that's what you've done. 
Well, you know, you know, Mr. Reynolds, that that's a box sticking, sir. I don't believe you can look at a little box sticked on a paper. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't even remember myself ticking any box of such nature. Because it, I have a document here where I sign, and I, the box I tick is the one that says I have received advice from the bank. I can send you a copy. Well, I, 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 I don't know what document I don't know what documentation they gave you, Mr. Rinaldi, because I can send you a copy. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is, when I make my request on the Data Protection Act, or uh, for them to send me a copy of the file, they refused. So um, this is the problem: is you're having documents which I don't have the privilege despite what I feel are my rights but I'm telling you I have a document that shows I tick the box is it says I received advice from the bank uh, okay. and, and, uh, and I believe if they have a document that I tick the box to say I received my own advice I believe there is some kind of improper improper thing going on because I did not tick any such box well then you would have to prove fraud then you know I have I have a document here signed um, where I tick and countersigned it. I don't just tick, I tick and countersigned it. It was a further document, but I ticked it and said the bank gave me advice because it's the only source of information I had on this product. I went to their meeting in their, in their office with my colleague. I have never sold any product like this myself as a financial advisor. I have no involvement or connection or training or knowledge. Um, of any sort with this and um, you know my colleague was with me he can testify the bank gave us the full lowdown and made us various promises about um, you know the merits and the and, and there were certain things we just just had no way of knowing at the time that I believe later on the bank knew and withheld from us you know I'm, to I'm talking to you as a consumer. I am not talk I'm telling you I did not tick any such box that says I'm responsible for my own advice because I don't advise I've never sold their product. I don't know about their product. I've never advised on it. Um so I can't say I advise. They never paid me any commission. I, I don't have a relationship of selling their products with them. So they can't say I was responsible. The only people authorize to sell their products is their staff. So if they say I took responsibility for the advice, it's false, sir, because I have no relation. When I take responsibility for advice on a product that I sell, I get paid by the company involved. And I and I have to do a reason why letter and affordability and all those things. Now, I, I have no such relationship with that bank, so I, it's not me. I can't say, um, I ticked a box or accepted that I was responsible for the advice. I went to their meeting, they done their sales pitch, they sat down with us, went through, okay, yeah. you know. Yeah, I really have to stop you there because, you know, I'm looking at a document in front of me. Well, sir, okay. because I have another document where I signed it, I didn't put a date on it, and they, they, they put a copy um, back to me with a date on, with a, a date that, that they, they stuck in there, which is, you know, tampering with the document. So I wouldn't say it's the first time that they've done it. And I can send you a copy, Mr. Rinaldi. I can send you a copy. You would have to prove to me that someone forged your signature then? Not my signature. They forged a document by sticking dates in it and other things on the original document. Okay. So you need to prove to me that that is false then? Well, what I can do, sir, I can send you a copy of the document I have and you can ask the bank to provide you with a copy of the original so that you can compare it with the one that they are trying to hold me contractually bound with and you can compare it and you can see that they have that tampered with the document and they have that history. As a matter of fact, I complained to my MP about this forgery um, I complained to the action fraud who told me that they're investigating it. Um, so I'm not putting it beyond them, uh, unfortunately, because um, they clearly have done it. And I can guarantee you that if you get the original from them, you will, you will see that there's a difference. And the difference is 
that the bank has tampered with it. Yeah, okay, what I'll do is I'll definitely look at that when you send it to me, alright, and I will, I will look at that and consider what you've just said to me. Um, I will scan the one I have, you ask them for the you ask them for the original, Mr. Rinaldi, and make a comparison yourself. Yeah. And then if you, you see that you see they have a history. I sent you the thing from the Guardian newspaper that shows they have a history of currency fraud and this and that. And so unfortunately, even when they catch people and send them to prison, most of the real criminals are still in the bank, they don't get caught or they're protected by other people. You've seen the PPI scandal, the endowment scandal, the pensions. There's all people protecting each other and all people like you have to do a good job, sir. Otherwise, mm -hmm. we're just going to get these big, you know, um, yeah. things. I can't just take your word for it. Not my word, not my word, Mr. Rinaldi. I'm asking you to make, uh, ex it's a very simple thing. They can send you this in five seconds. Just say, here is the original and I will send you the copy that they gave me or they gave to to other parties to say that's the document and I can tell you they have tampered with it. I can guarantee you that Mr. Rinaldi, I can guarantee, I've never made a complaint about an institution before but these people believe me with the things I've discovered is just out of this world but you know I'm really I'm really happy that you can confirm that they are account answerable in the UK and I would appreciate that you send me a little confirmation saying that. Yeah, I will be sending you a letter explaining why. Um, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, but what I want to do. Remember, remember, we're only talking about the sale, okay? Not about anything afterwards. Yeah, well, like, well, okay. I'm only saying that the sale is in jurisdiction. Nothing else afterwards. No, 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 fine, sir, but I would like that because it's the best thing I had from you for two years now. Yeah, no, and, and my it, letter completely confirms that, but then it also just goes on to say that because. Yeah, and I will deny. I'm denying it. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you on the phone now whether you want it in writing or not. I'm going to deny that that is not so. I'm going to say that's not so. So, and, and I'm going to say I have further document that will prove conclusively that they do engage in tampering with documents. Okay. Well, then you're going to have to prove that to me. Okay. Well, all I can do, sir, I can give you a copy of the document. You ask them for an original and make a comparison. It's not a large job. Yes, sir. But I, did, I do need something just to confirm that they are, the sale is in the jurisdiction of UK with FCA number. I really would appreciate it. But I will send that document to you, Mr. Rinaldi, and, and then we take it from there. But I really appreciate you coming back to me quickly. But I also, I don't know if you can help here, but they do need to send me a copy of my file on the Data Protection Act because it's only fair. They can't be claiming a sum of money from me. Have you, have you made a, have you made a record? I, I made a formal request, paid the money, they banked the cheque and they're not complying. The Data Protection Act people told me the same thing, they said they're out of the jurisdiction. I went on the Data Protection Act website, looked them up, they are there, they're registered in the UK with a registration number and I just think they're gaming the system, sir. They're gaming the system. Okay, so the, so the Data Protection Act issues, I can't help you. No, I, know, I know everybody will send me somewhere else. you know that's just how it works it's the same thing you know two years ago I made a request and they said then um, it's not in the jurisdiction then I spoke to them on the phone the same day I spoke to you and they said oh yeah sorry we made a mistake it is in the jurisdiction blah blah okay. but you know for to, to take two years to even get an acknowledgement and if the bank is so um, adamant at not disclosing things why yeah. why no, 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 it doesn't matter, it, it doesn't matter what bank you are, sir, if I, if you are running a business, any business, wherever in the world, and your customer, I said, okay, can I have a copy of, do you realise, do you realise that this is an offshore bank, so they're not like any normal business, well, that's what you've got to realise, okay, I mean, well, I've seen, I've seen other people with offshore banks and if they want a copy of their account, they just get it. I don't, they, they don't even have to make a data protection at request. The bank just sends it, press a few buttons and send it all. I don't see why, why the offshore... For the bank, you know, if this bank, if this bank was in another island, say Cayman Islands... Yeah. And you went and asked them for a data request. Are you sure you would get the information? 
If you say to any institution that you're with, yeah, anywhere on the planet, and you say, can I have a copy of my account, please, my, my details, my file, they, you don't, you only have to make a data protection at request when the organization is kind of refusing to comply. Otherwise, you don't need it. They just send you your, your details. You know, so that, that's what it's supposed to be like. And if they've got nothing to hide, what's the problem? Even if, even if we give them the benefit of the doubt, say, okay, they're not in the jurisdiction. You've got nothing to hide. Send us a copy. Here they send you a copy of something I signed with a box sticked on it. And they, they did not send you a copy of something I signed where I, 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 I ticked the box where it says I did receive advice. They did, you see, they're sending you what they want. They're picking, they're picking and choosing what they want to send you, sir, and they're gaming the system. So wait a minute, they did send you stuff or not? They didn't. They sent you nothing at all? Nothing. They just, the Data Protection, the Information Commissioner's Office said to me, um, because of the jurisdiction, blah, blah, two years ago, same like you, and two years later, they now said to me they are covered here because I went on their website, found their data protection number, UK number. You know, if you're operating in a jurisdiction and you're registered, and you're registered like with the FCA, it means you're covered by the FCA. This is simple. It doesn't matter where on the planet. You know, if Google is doing business and they're registered in Amsterdam and I buy something from them here, I am covered by the UK rules because they're selling in the UK. I have my normal consumer rights. Where they choose to base their head office for tax purposes has nothing to do with my consumer protection rights. You can't make that comparison, Mr. Badaloo. Tax is a completely different thing. No, I'm just saying, wherever our company is based, they're doing business in the UK as a UK registered with the authorities with a number and all the necessary consumer protection, like Data Protection Act number, FCA number, blah, blah, blah. What it means, I have, I, I have confidence that I have some cover here and protection here. That's what it means. If they were operating from abroad and was not registered in the UK in that way, then I wouldn't do business with them. Yeah, well, unfortunately, the, the current uh, status of your complaint is that you signed yourself out of protection. In a, in a, in a well, I, I, I deny that, sir. I deny that, and I have other documents to show that they're quite prepared to do funny things. Okay, alright. Well then, I'll wait for your reply. Um, I'll send you the information. The so, moment. let me ask you this, let me ask you this, Mr. Rinaldi. If you can establish that they have tampered with documents, uh, yeah. how will that affect your investigation? I, I, won't, I won't go into that, Mr. Badger. Right, right, right. Because, you know... Yeah, because like I was saying to you before, even when you catch people with their pants down, uh, from what I understand, you don't really do much. You just they get a slap on the wrist. They, they might get a fine for, for for one million, and they've made like twenty billion on on, on the fiddle. Well, now that's a matter of opinion. Well, we see HSBC got a fine of how many five hundred million, and they made like hundred and fifty billion from money laundering. So this is what goes on. It's very profitable for them. Well, it, it is, you know, sir, it is because there's a number of things going on on my case. I've been making a, um, an effort for a very long time. I'm a simple consumer and the service I've had from the authorities is just kind of F off, you know, that's all. Mr. Mr. Babsley, you've got to realise that you're not a simple consumer. You're a financial advisor. No, sir, I'm a simple consumer in this case. I am not authorised or regulated to sell their product. I'm not licensed to sell their products. I, I don't I don't get paid by them. I don't have a relationship where I get paid. I'm not responsible. It doesn't make it doesn't make any difference. So if, if if you're a builder and you hire another builder to build your house and they don't meet the building regulations, it's not your responsibility. I mean, are you a licensed financial advisor or not, Mr. I am not licensed, authorized or have any relationship to sell Climate Benson's products. Yeah, yeah, no, sir. I don't. I do not 
let me put it this way in my language. I do not hold an agency with Klein Work Benson. Well, I, I don't get paid. I have no relationship to market their products to myself or to anyone else, sir. You don't need any of those things. I do, sir. And if they tick a box to say I got uh, took their product without advice from them, I think they're fiddling me. I have, I, have, I have a witness who was at the meetings with me and came, they sat down, they gave us, a, I went into their meeting as a regular Joe Bloggs consumer. Nothing more. I didn't go there as a financial advisor and blah, I, you know, I don't know their product, I don't sell it, I never... Well then how did you get the invitation to such an event if you had to go with a financial As far as I can remember, we had a phone call. About and their. Why would um, you get such a phone call? Pardon me? Why would you get such a phone call? I don't market. I, I marketing people. I get loads of phone calls for for you know. Because you're a financial advisor. No, you can't say that, sir. You can't say. I went there as a consumer. I did not meet them as a financial advisor. I met them as a regular Joe customer. There is nothing in any documentation that says Churchill Finance have a relate. You know, any any financial advisor relationship with that company. No, sir, if, if I go to Barclays Bank and buy, and buy a bank account and there's something goes wrong with the bank account, you can't come to me and say, because I'm a reg registered financial advisor, I have less rights than the bus driver on the road or the doctor or the dentist. Again, again you're making another metaphor, simile that doesn't quite fit into this situation. It, it does, sir, because you're, you're, trying, you're, trying to, you're trying to kind of bully me to say, because you're a financial advisor, you gave yourself advice and therefore... Your, I'm not anyone. I, I do not. I did not give myself. I, I don't know that I went to them as a consumer, just like I would go to Barclays Bank or NatWest Bank or, or any other bank.